times in our lives do we wait to see if it will turn out before we open it? How many times in our lives do we, we're sure that God has spoken, we're sure that God is leading us, but we wait to see what it will look like before we do what God said. And then we sometimes wonder, why didn't this work? And the truth is, because we never walked in obedience. Because you've got to be obedient to see the outcome. And promises don't get fulfilled without obedience. Because that, that, is, that is always a part of what God's doing. We talk about unconditional love, and it's true. But if you notice the conditional promises... There are a lot of ifs in there. If you abide in me, I will abide in you. That's an if. That doesn't mean he's going to abide in you whether you like it or not. It means that if you are obedient, I will bring the fulfillment. And a lot of us are living like God's got to do what he promised, but we don't understand that if I don't live in obedience, those promises, they wait and they wait and they wait. And forgive me for a minute, sometimes they die on the vine. Because it requires enough faith to obey him so that he can do what he said he was going to do. If they don't go untie the donkey, they never get to be a part of watching the Messiah ride in and listening to hear everyone sing, Hosanna in the highest. I'm not saying Jesus wouldn't have come. I'm saying they wouldn't have come with Jesus. Hallelujah. Because he's going to be who he is, but sometimes we don't get to take the invitation that we were offered. Got to understand that there will be no fulfillment of promises unless we're willing to walk in full obedience. Mm -hmm. So tonight, even before we get to the Passover meal, I have to ask this question. Are we still waiting on and believing in Jesus to give us specific instructions? Are we still believing in relationship with Jesus that is so deep and so intimate and so real that he can tell us specifically, go here and go there? Do this and do that. Open your mouth and shut it. That we, that, that he, do we even believe tonight that he could say, go to the next town and you're going to find a colt and untie it and bring it because it's what I need. Do we even believe that he's still working in that way? And again, I don't want to beat a dead horse, but I'm not talking about the promises of what he will do for us. Because a lot of us have those, right? He told me he's going to this, and he told me he's going to that, and he told me I'm going to have this, and I'm going to have that. That's not what I'm talking about tonight. I'm talking about instructions of how we must be obedient to him. Mm. A calling to walk with 